Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. It is episode 119, we are almost at 120. So, yeah, I want to apologize for the past couple of days. I was hoping to get something posted, but man, it was 44 degrees Celsius outside. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it was hot as heck. And I'm up here in the attic, like I said, and it is so hot up here. I've got a portable AC up here um, pointed right at me, and I was still sitting with my shirt off and everything. And it was just way too hot. And, I, and I, I have to turn the AC off to record or all you're going to hear is the AC going on in the background the whole time. So I just couldn't do it, unfortunately. But uh, it's nice and cool today, which is great. So I'm going to try and get a couple of episodes recorded today so I can get them posted over the next couple of, couple of days. Because I don't know how hot it's going to be. But anyway, that being said, um, so episode 119, we have a few days left. So let's have a look at the uh, star map real quick. Um Few, very few days left in game for before the end of the series so we have 11 days here to get to our flashpoint which expires in 14 days so we're okay um, we're gonna pull off a couple of missions here today hopefully we take very little damage Mo almost all of our mechs are back let's have a look at the mech base here almost all of our mechs are back um, so yeah, uh, the Timberwolf C, I wasn't able to restore, was it the C or was it the D? I think it was the C, yeah, no, the D. Wasn't able to restore how I had it before with the Rack 5 and everything. So I decided to outfit a little differently. We needed to get it up and running. We have to have all our mechs in play, I think, for these this next mission or the next uh, Flashpoint coming up. So I just put a basic outloading on this guy, just made him a target mech. Uh, our accuracy mech. So we're running three ER large lasers and an ER medium laser, all clan based. E cooling plus five in the CT with a Nova CEWS for stealth. Um, I didn't have a better exchanger than this. This was the one that was already in here. Clan heat bank, TTS energy plus two, uh, plus one accuracy for the uh, fire control system energy, plus three for the weapon mounts. So plus six accuracy overall for the lasers on the arms. Uh, this will be a good mech for targeting people's heads. So I'm hoping, hopefully we can do that. We've got the sensor trackers in here as well for another plus one to hit. Um, integrated laser AMS as well um, for a little bit of AMS defense. I couldn't get a regular AMS in here. This is just the weight wouldn't allow it. So yeah, I put this one in instead, which is actually, actually relatively good. It costs a lot to repair the mech, but um, you know, it's got a 15 shot AMS, which is pretty good. Uh, and the heat efficiency is not too bad. I think we're over by, what, 18, 19? Over by 19, which isn't too bad. We've got the heat bank, and we can cycle the ER medium on and off, which will, you know, get our heat back there because it is only 20 heat. So it's not too bad. So let's have a look at the contracts and see what we got going on. I already have an idea what we want to do today. I'm going to take it a relatively easy... We're going to do Lost Air. Um, it's against locals. Uh, it's just a recovery mission. We should have no problem doing this one. And then we got Forward Observers, a Three Skull uh, for Clan um, uh, Ghost Bear against Comstar, which we'll send our, our secondary Lance in to do. But we're going to do Lost Air first, and we're going to negotiate this one, and going to go full salvage. We're a little bit behind on our sea bills, but we have stuff we can sell if we have to, so not worried about that. So let's pull out the awesome. Let's pull out the Mjolnir. Um, oops, Griff, you can stay in. Uh, we're pulling out Eagle and Giant, though. Uh, and we're bringing in a uh, six-pack and... Oops, not Judge. Rhino. There you go. I was looking at you, but I wasn't uh, clicking on you. And then we'll bring in the D down here. Uh, this one is the double PPC LRM. We're going to switch this around. Um, no, I'll leave the PPCs on six pack for now. And then I think we'll take, uh, is the mule near back? It is. Um, oh, we haven't fixed the light tag on this. Interesting. We'll take it anyway. All right, let's deploy this and get it done. Okay, here we go. All right. Yeah, we're seeing this map a little bit more now. We got our speed back again. 
It's nice to have these 75 tonners back. It's been a while since we run a, uh, a full heavy lance as the main lance. I gotta say, that's really where my play style is. I really like running the heavies. Especially these, like these black hats and stuff, the 75 tons, you know, they don't, I mean, if we could run four black hats, I would. Like this loadout here um, is fantastic. I love this loadout. Uh, I, I mean, I wish I could switch the ER uh, mediums or smalls for mediums, but this is still really nice and it runs super cool too. And uh, the Timberwolves are actually okay, but compared to the black hat, there's like nowhere near what that black hat can output. Um, so yeah, anyway, but it's nice to have the, sp the, the speed back again, because we were playing for so long with some good speed. Fulcrum, Catapult, C-22, Atlas, well, what's up, buddy? Um, you know what, let's drop some thunder on this guy. I mean, we don't have much ammo, but we might as well just... Do some damage to his legs. If it actually lands there. Yeah, maybe not. Alright. Well. Can't have everything. Let's pull some of these guys out of the game here. Snub nose PPC, eh? Alright, well. Uh, let's hammer him. Nice. Standing. No, in the trees. In the trees, please. Oh, look at the accuracy on this thing. I should double check to make sure the black hat's got... Uh... Let's get you in your position over here if we can. Mm. Let's not risk it. No point moving too far ahead. Let's get up over here. Did that last time and ran into some problems. Well, not last time. It was in um, Night Witches where uh, I had um, um, Megasaur come down in here and we, we took major damage. So Come on, guys. Yeah, so I mean... I mean, I should kind of restrict myself to heavy mechs. It's it's far more of a challenge. Um, and if we're not, I mean, if we're not getting really, really difficult missions at five skulls, then maybe I will. Either that or force myself into a specific engine type so I have to run fast mechs so I can't over outlay my, uh, my mechs. I mean, really, the only thing we really needed a lot of heavy armament and uh, stuff for was for the Raxilla missions and stuff, but, you know. Can you... We can. All right. Uh, not, no, no thunder, please. Swarm them up. And firing. We're going to push this atlas. That plus we want to get our invasion up as best we can. It's nice getting like four chevrons of evasion on a heavy on a uh, heavy mech. Usually you're down around two, three at the most. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do for my um, skill layouts for my pilots. I like the resolve game of going up the tactics tree on that first, um, I can't even remember what it's called now. Griff's got it, I'll find out here in a second. Um, here we go. Uh, tactician, yeah. Plus two resolve gain, minus 50% critical hits taken, which is really, really nice. Um, plus one to initiative and tactics rolls, which is great, but also being able to, to fire a maneuver is pretty fantastic too. 
So, I mean, I don't know. I gotta decide. Okay, let's warlord this up. And we're just gonna shoot him. We don't really have a great chance to hit, so. Did we get the tag on? I don't know if we did. Doesn't really matter though, because we have gotten him to be unsteady. Warlord. That's a push. That leg is almost gone. Well, she's pretty much sure to take the leg. It is Mockingbird after all. There you go. Bet that hurts. Ready for orders. All right, Rai Rai, finish him up. See if we can take that leg. Ooh, let's warlord it. Get the most damage possible we can here. I mean, we could go after his head, but that's a lot of armor on the head. We still can't take the leg, though. Hmm. Still, better chance to hit the leg. Let's go after the leg. I think that was four to the leg, if I'm not mistaken. I have no idea. Confirmed. Yeah, we're down in the open, but at least we're not going through the minefield for two points of heat damage. Wow, zero damage, man. Here it comes! I love the skull painted on the face of these atlases. Alright, Pack, get on the flank of this guy if you can. Can you get over there? Let's do this. 79, eh? What's the chance for the OP here? 50%. Ooh, okay, she did hit all four in the leg. There we go. Nice. Two down. Ooh. 70. I hope that was not 70 damage, but I got a feeling it was. Alright, what do you think? Oh, we can't even hit that guy. Really? We'll take the 4 damage. This guy's all yours, girl. Ooh, terrible! Acknowledged. See if you can finish him up. Target lost. Spread it around. Spread it around. Oh, he's almost gone, though. It's weird how you shoot the back and you're hitting the sides most of the time. I mean, the rounds shouldn't bounce that much. I'm going to vigilance this. I'm not in a really good position here. We're going to kill this guy first if we can. Well, at least we can tag him. I should shoot this guy. Yeah, three hits, nice. Standing by. Mm, I should shoot him. Aye, aye. Standing by. Can you see them both? Not from there, you can't. 
Not from anywhere you can't. Yeah, just finish them up. Sure did. Go stand on him. Make sure he doesn't get back up. Commander. All right, let's go see if we can take that leg. Yeah, pretty good chances to hit. 43. Well, I got one hit. Commander. Mm, let's just shoot him. I think I hit something good. I think you did too. All right, let's get on this guy. What's he got left here? Not much in the leg. Should be able to OP that leg, I think. It is Mockingbird, after all. Reporting critical hit. Have a seat. Now, can we get grit? Oh, you can. Yeah, finish him up. See ya. Alright. Let's move together if we can. I don't know if they're going to have... Um... Reinforcements after this. I mean, it is a four and a half skull, so maybe not. Uh, yeah. I don't think they're going to have reinforcements. Standing by. Well, that's it for that. Ah, minus 26,000? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get paid very much for that. Well, that's all right. Everybody got a kill. Oh, it's a black beard? Really? What the hell that was? Uh, is there anything that we can use immediately? If not, we're just going to use stuff for sale here. Uh, these are nice. Adds 30 armor and structure to the head. Pretty cool. I got one of these. No, I don't have one of these on this, on this uh, series. Um, hands hook. <laughs> I guess that was on the atlas. Sure, whatever. Let's take some patchwork material so we can shove it in a mech and put some extra armor on it. XL engines are worth how much? 2.5. How much is this worth? 2. And then we know the double heatsink kit's worth 2.5. So we're going to grab those for sea bills. Ah, uh, yeah. I would rather go for the for uh, increased chance of targeting and everything over the um, extra armor in the head. Two blackbeard parts, three catapult parts. Maybe maybe we get a catapult out of this. I don't know. Fingers crossed. All right, fifty-one thousand for the repairs. Yeah, whatever. Six days. Okay, that's pretty good. Still in line to get all our mechs back. So let's have a look at the other contract here. I'll worry about selling stuff afterwards. Uh, where are you here? Forward observers. I mean, we could take incomplete intelligence. Destroy base. This one is... Destroying a lance. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's take it for Ghost Bear. Why not? Like, I don't even... Let's go with the four color. Let's do this one. It's a little hard. I mean, it's technically supposed to be a little harder. So let's go that route. And let's get... I'm, I, God, I'm so worried that we're going to get a pilot injured and we won't have them for the uh, final battles. Um... And let's go with it's a destroy base. So let's go this route. Is this the uh, triple? That's the double ATM. Switch these two around. All right, let's deploy. Okay, here we go. All right. We should be good. I bet it smells great out there. Huh. I don't know if it smells great, but... All right, let's do this. I hear ya. Moving fast. Yeah, I'll switch out of thunder. Okay. What do you need? Mm, I think we'll sprint first. All right, full speed. Oh, we got line on a turret here. Looks like a freaking railgun. Uh, yeah, we better take the shot. Freaking AMSs, man, I'm telling you. Going full throttle. Hammer him with everything, please. Okay. I wasn't sure if we were going to destroy him there or not. I figured we had enough um, ATMs, so I wasn't that worried, but... Looked like a friggin' railgun Good. turret, though. Let's not go too crazy, just going to walk it up. Urban Mac Winston. Okay. Heavy turret chassis. That guy deserves a little attention, so let's give it to him. Wow, lasers missed horribly. I wonder if that railgun turret wasn't actually a railgun turret at all, but an AMS turret. Shoot. Oh, this is the AMS turret. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Okay, he's not going to survive the next round. Warhammer. Ooh. Is that a clan? Thought it said C. Nope. You can get rid of this guy for me, please. Thank you. Target destroyed. Shooting through the MS, I don't care. Um, do I want to get into... I don't know if we want to go close because there's another turret over there somewhere. Oh, it's back. That's the AMS turret. Where is the other turret? I cannot tell. Oh, it's up here. Well, let's move over for a flanking maneuver. Got it. We 
You're going to fire. I think we're just going to brace. I'm going to wait till we can get close. I don't want to, my biggest fear is jumping again and overheating and then being unstable when we land and not being able to fire our weapons like we should be able to. I don't know if they got another unit around there either. Okay, Winston's backing up. Don't know if he's getting a better vantage point or if he's just... No, there's another vehicle back there somewhere. Yeah, good luck hitting that guy. There's that turret. He's got to go. Make sure he can't get a direct fire on you. Let's bring some death on this guy, please, and thank you. Uh, we're going to ward it, get some better chance to hit. And fire. Not quite enough, but enough, enough that we can do some good heavy damage. How far can we go? You know what? Phantom mech, phantom mech. Understood. Christ, look at the evasion on this thing. Say good night. Oh, we got the, a the AMS hit the friggin' missiles. Damn it. Still don't look at <laughs> We got what? That should be 10, right? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. I wonder how that translates and in, translates into uh, minus to hit. Okay, we're gonna get out of that Warhammer's direct line of sight, and we're gonna target this guy. I want this guy gone. All right, same thing, please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, good luck with that. So we're gonna kill this AMS turret. Okay. They got a missile vehicle. I think the Winston's got missiles. Oh, there's two Winston's. Well, at least they're shooting at her. She's got two turns of evasion, too, so... With the Phantom Mac, they're both Winston Mark IIs. Okay. I think that, that Phantom Mac can be pretty OP for units like this. So they hit with one. Wow. <laughs> they think that. But don't say things like that. You're just going to get yourself killed. Commander. You know what my luck is like. Off. We're going to take advantage of this. I know the AMS turret's going to do a lot of damage to this thing, but... We're going to take advantage of it anyway. That's still enough. That's still enough. Yeah. Yeah, the battle's over here, buddy. Yeah, you don't need to move. Let's just shoot this turret. We can rain down death with impunity. Maybe he'll run out of ammo. What do you need? Yeah, maybe. And maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Alright, let's hammer this guy with everything. Aye, aye. And we'll just walk down to here. 
moving to position. Uh, Commander? Uh, I need you in battle, please. Full speed. No target. How are we doing on this turret? Oh, let's finish him up. Alright, now you don't have AMS protection. That turret is gone. Gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that exterminator once it comes back. Still got like eight days, I think, before it's repaired. It was kind of last in the queue, unfortunately, because we had other mechs to replace it, but I don't know if it'll be back in time for the final battles. That's the rocket launcher version, eh? Light damage, Commander. The behemoth's almost back too, so it's got to get repaired. It's back in three days. I don't know if it'll be ready yet either for that final battle. I'm pretty sure it got cored, so I can't. I can't really remember what. <laughs> It's been a while. I can't really remember. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's stay stable. Reduce our heat. Just gonna move up here. Let's just hammer this guy. Okay, I'm on it. See ya. Target destroyed. Told you the battle was the other way. Uh, I think the Winston's now. Let's get in here. You betcha. Let's target this guy first to the side and unleash some hell. How are we doing with, uh, we got enough for one more Vigilance too, okay, cool. And, yep. Because I want to bring Judge up as well. To the side. And I want to Vigilance her as well. I'm going to Warlord this too, and maybe we can finish this Winston up, hopefully. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. I had a lot of armor. Systems holding. Oh shoot. Yeah, I don't know why I vigilanced. Ah uh, well. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. I mean, we need her down Gaucho because she was unstable, but doesn't really matter, I guess. Ouch. Light damage, Commander. No matter where he goes, he's going to get shot in the side. Nice try. Stability back. Hammer this guy, please. Orders? Same thing. This guy. Oh, I got normal on, that's why. I was wondering why I was doing less damage. All right, let's hammer this guy. Ah! I was hoping we could get a good shot on the side there, but didn't work out. Let's give him another target, get out in the open here if we can. Um, 65 on the front, eh? All right, let's just hammer the side.
Let's see what they do. Yeah, he'll drop quick in a minute. You know, it'd be interesting to have like four different variants of the urban mech to start the game with. I know it doesn't really sound that fun, but to me it kind of does. Like have a rocket launcher version, have a ballistic version, a laser version, and I don't know what else. Maybe two ballistic versions or something, I don't know. Ah, good, you took the bait. Ow. Okay, we should be able to cook these two guys up this turn. Waiting on you, Commander. Coordinates received. Okay, this guy's got 65 left in the front. Oh, you got 65. They both got 65, okay. Uh, let's shoot at this guy. He's a little farther away, but... There you go. Sure did. Yeah, you're gonna fire a maneuver on this one. Hammer this guy from the front with, a, with the HE. Nicely done. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. On my way. Getting into the trees. Yeah, Commander. Same thing, we'll fire a maneuver on this guy using the HE. Dude, you need more armor. I think I hit something good. Move order received. I think that's where his, I think that's where most of the rocket launchers were. Oh, he's got an MRM-30? Really? Where? In the arm. That's really interesting. Yep. Understood. All right, hammer the side. <laughs> well, hopefully he won't be hitting anybody this turn. Then we can clean up next turn, finish these buildings up, go home. Reporting minimal damage. Yeah, I was hoping he wasn't going to hit at all, but... I mean, it's an MR MRM-30, so... Okay, you're gonna building hog, aren't you? You're gonna building hog. No problem. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. Oh, you didn't get the second one, really. See ya. Awaiting orders. Move order. Confirm. Okay, so this large building it's got two hundred, eh? Let's see how much damage you can do here. Locking on. Oh yeah, more than enough. Get to the LZ for extraction. Forget that. Come and get us here. Alright, not so bad. Well, at least we made some sea bills this time. Let's see what our damages are like. Alright, um. What do we got for components? Anything good? A couple of engines, fire control ballistic, double heat sinks, a whole lot of nothing. ERA, LRM ammo. Um. Yeah, I'm just grabbing some stuff that's worth C-bills right now. 
Doesn't really matter, but we'll grab both the light engines and sell them. All right, we've got two Mac parts. That's all that matters. Okay, Jade Falcon took Shadow from Ghost Bear. Really? Cool. Um, we actually got... Oh, man. We actually got an Urban Mech. 112 in damages. Yeah. Well, we really didn't lose any sea bills this episode. That's good. Kind of balanced out. A little bit over. We got a little bit more than what we paid out. Let's have a look uh, at that urban mech here before we sell it. It doesn't look like it's got much left in it. It's just the stock version, it looks like. Small laser and AC-20. How many rounds does this thing carry? Five shots, that's it? Carries five AC-20 rounds? How is that? Ditch a heat sink guy. Really? Ditch the jump jets or something, anyway. Whatever, a scrapper. 230,000. Ah, not bad. Okay, so, um, first things first, let's go to the store. We're going to sell off those few things that we got. I mean, we don't, I don't know how much we're going to need um, for got an ATM 6 here. Ultra 20 clan. Yeah. 4-1. How did I know that? Heavy Goss ammo. I don't know if we'll need it. Let's buy it. I want to make sure we have stuff before we leave here. Um, just so we have options to build our mechs back up. I don't know. I can't remember how much damage the behemoth took. So we might need the heavy Goss ammo. Uh, okay. Let's sell some stuff here. So we still have the Stalker and the Zeus. I never did get rid of those. Um, ATM-9 Pirate we're not going to use. Like I said, we're almost done here, so let's get rid of the ER Medium. Not going to use the Fire Fists. This at least is going to give you an idea of what we had left over. I sold a whole bunch of stuff, but not all that much. Like all the Inner Sphere stuff I just sold. Some stuff I hung on to. Sell both the machine guns. As much as much as we want to hang on to those for whatever reason. Small lasers. Sniper artillery we still had. SRM-6 can go. SRM-6 streak. The streaks were really nice. The clan six, streak 6s were worth like 250000 a pop. Something like that. It was ridiculous. When I sold them all off, I was like, wow. That was crazy. Um... Okay, where are those two tens? We can sell both of those. I'm still, I mean, I could have sold all of this stuff, but I don't know. I just kind of, I hung on. I'm, I'm a pack rat when it comes to things like this. Um, what about the, the um, like just like so much junk. I tried to keep it as clean as possible through the series. It was tough to do. I mean, at one point in time, we had like 50 clan double heat sinks. And I remember selling them off. I'm going to sell one of these. Um, we had so much. I was hanging on to these for the, uh, um, what's it called? The Screamer. I bought this Omni part arm lower, and every time I tried to put it in, it was like I just couldn't use it. So I ended up never using it. It just sat there. I mean, it was cheap enough, but still. Um, See, so here's that tricorn that we had. Armored cowl. I knew we had one of those kicking around. Uh, yeah, that's probably good. We got four, 4.25 million. We're fine. All right, let's take a jump. Um, I want to get set up here for the next system. Actually, you know what? Before we jump, let's go and um, set up our tasks here. Now, we didn't lose any components. The exterminator needs to come to the top. I want to get that back. If we leave it till later, it's not going to get repaired. The mad dog is going to be five. 
Mjolnir is going to be four. Let's balance this out. We have an 11, 11 day journey. So this will be back in five. That'll be back in six. See, Kerberos needs to come up. So in four days, in five days, this will be in, and that will be in. So in seven days, these will be done. Day eight, so we've got nine days of repairs. Okay, cool. So let's do uh, the jump. Getting there, guys. All right, here we go. Got the sea bills for our financial report. Hopefully the exterminator is not going to cost all that much. It's the exterminator of Kerberos. All right, one more day for the Kerberos. Damn it. Actually, let's wait two days. Because I want to see... Um, the Kerberos... Where's the exterminator? Is it still here? It is here. It didn't we didn't lose anything, did we? No, it's fine. It just needed to be repaired. Okay, now wait. Before I forget, let's refit this guy. We got a damaged tag. So if I don't do this at the end of every episode, I forget things like this, right? Uh, so let's repair that. Six hundred and ninety. In a whole day, the day is worse worse than the six ninety. All right, now the Kerberos, I don't know if this guy's going to be ready for the final battle. I don't think so. Okay. Um, yeah, we lost everything in the CT. There's no way we can get this thing repaired. Is there anything we want for anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, because by the time we get... Like, let's say we just put a core in it. Um... Equipment. Let's just put a 250 in. Oh, well, maybe we'll get it back. Okay, what else do we take out? The XL engine we don't... I mean, we'd be nice to have, but... See, we needed... We got heavy Goss ammo. Regular double Goss. What would it take... To put another Goss rifle back in this thing? Do we have one? I'm pretty sure we do They'll have a clan Goss rifle. Uh, there's the heavy Goss ammo. That's like eight shots per ton, is it, or five? Four shots per ton, really? Okay. Um, huh. Does it fit? I wonder if we should go with a... Uh, no, nah, it's just dumb. We don't have the weight to be able to put a Gauss rifle in this thing anyway. So, is I don't think that BFG is considered a Gauss rifle, is it? I guess maybe it is. I guess maybe it is. Alright, so what do we put on the arm then? I should probably split up the ammo. Okay, we're going to need a some kind of cooling system. So, let's just put this in for now. Heat 6. How much did it, is there just generate any heat at all? 15. Doesn't count it though, which is weird. Should keep my eye open on that. So it's really 21 heat. So we got clan case armor in here. Um, let's go with. We do have one weapon mount left. Do we have clan case? I thought I saw it when I was going through stuff here. I should put a combat shield in this guy. Uh, we do. Case 2. I had it on this side for... 
I don't remember why I had it over here. Is the Gauss right? Is volatile. I mean, we could put that there. At least if we put the double Gauss in the leg. Do I want to use double Gauss though? If we lose the leg, then we lost all our ammo for the Gauss rifle. Railgun ammo is what, four? So it's 12 turns of fire for the railgun, not using regular Gauss. Um, do we have clan? We don't. So if I put the small liner in, I'm going to have to lose the uh, clan case, which I think would be fine. Put the regular case in here. Yeah, I know. Just swap it out. Right, we could put the small liner in. Christ, look at the weight go way up. But it's still minus 25% damage. Any way we can get it, I mean, it's we got three patchworks, but as soon as we start putting patchwork in, it's going to crank the days up. That's the problem. Uh, if it's going to be at range, I mean, I guess I could pull a little bit of back armor off. And then put maybe one of these guys in. Gives us three tons. What about a gyro? What do we have for gyros? Defensive gyro. What's this guy going to... Uh, we can't put that in. Actually, we can't even put XL gyros in. You can put a defensive gyro in. That's six days. That's still too much. Um, okay, that's seven days though. There's our six days back. Ah, man. I don't know, guys. Let's put... See, it's the patchwork too, right? Um... Got a quarter ton left. So that's where we had the armor before. Five days. I think we're going to be right under the wire with that. Right? It was 14 days to get here. We spent eight days repairing. Plus five is 13. That should just be right under the wire. So I'm going to confirm this. We have our financial report to go through, but that's only 343000 So at least that mech will be back. And that's all we need to do. Everything else will be... Let's manage our tasks. Kerberos comes up. Right? I mean, I'm sure it could be that we could have had a better loadout on it, but... It's going to be there in three days. Um... Now, stay on ship. I know you got low spirits, but I would rather have you, like, be there rather than being injured or something stupid like that. All right. Not yet. We will be taking you in a moment. But not this episode. Next episode. 
before I screw anything up though let's just make sure how many days until it's over oh come on really expires in three days okay so we'll we got two days to wait there's our financial report accept that All right, and one day. Job's done, All right. Watch, there'll be something wrong with the Kerberos now. Nope. Okay, we're all up. All right, we got 15 mechs. We should be good to go. 15 mechs and 10 pilots. Um, let's just check our barracks real quick here. Have a look at the mech wires. I can't wait to do the comparison, the yeah. episode 121, yeah, Commander. where we compare all the pilots just to see how they did. Okay, let's bring your gunnery up. All right, Gaucho, nice. That's that's a bonus before the last battle, eh? Good to go. Yeah, you didn't quite make that last skill, but that's pretty pretty darn close, Hannibal. Uh, okay, Judge, you. Oh my God, you did. Wait, you missed it by <laughs> 14 XP. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Really? I think the unsteady threshold is probably going to be the... Oh, minus 10 heat percent, 10 percent heat generation, though. I don't know. Do you think stability? Knockdown is bad, but I think heat generation is probably better for the way we run mechs. Oh, it's such a hard decision. Plus one initiative, too. You know, whatever I don't take, it's going to be vital. I'll either overheat, I'll get knocked down, um, or I'll lose initiative. You know what? We're on a, we're on a cool planet, though. Right? Let's have a quick look at the planet again before I spend the points. I don't think we're going to need heat generation on this planet. Right? Yeah. So, it's an Arctic world. This is going to be major to our advantage. Um, so, I think what I'll do... Yeah. Going to go this route. Well... The weird thing is, is if I use, don't have to worry about minimum range, reduced hesitation. Let's go that route. Let's go that route. All right, decision made. Mockingbird, extra fifty-six thousand. Waiting for orders. Commander. That's it. All right. Well, there's the pilots. All right, guys. Well, next episode, we will be taking this flashpoint. It is a long, hard flashpoint. Um, it is for Comstar, but what, else, what What can you do, right? Um, I'm really hoping... I don't know I don't know what Grimdark is. Um, I don't think I've ever taken this one. Uh, it's a secret project, so I have no idea what to expect. I'm, I, you know what? And if you guys know, please don't put anything in the comments. Don't spoil it for me. I just want to go and see what we do uh, but I think this time I think what I did last time is I sent in the second lance first thinking that it was going to be more difficult later on and brought my main lance in second so this time I think I'm going to bring my main lance in in the first run or the first mission second lance will take the second mission and then we'll see what we're going to do after that if it's con if, we, if we continue with consecutive missions after that then we might have our two reserve pilots uh, plus Griffin Mockingbird take the third mission and then if it is still continuing after that we'll see how it goes but I'm gonna leave the episode here guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe also drop any comments in the comment section down below and until next time we'll see you later